college student Kazuya has a bad breakup with his girlfriend Mami. To help him get over the breakup, he uses an online dating app to rent a girlfriend named Chizuru, but they stop after realizing that they are actually classmates. However, although they try to avoid each other, the two of them keep getting into misadventures together and have started to support each other. Since Chizuru's grandmother had passed recently, Kazuya decides to help her fulfill her grandmother's wish and make a film together, since they don't have the funds they have to crowdfund their project. One day as Kazuya and Chizuru chat about the problems with their fundraising plan on their balconies, their new neighbor pops in to join them. The next day, Kazuya bumps into the same neighbor, who calls herself Mini Yamori, while he's walking around campus. Later that evening, Chizuru swings by Kazuya's apartment to discuss the project in more detail. Spotting his hunger, she decides to whip up some amiris for him. Just as Chizuru is getting ready to head out, Ruka unexpectedly shows up at the door. When Ruka confronts Kazuya and Chizuru, Chizuru feels compelled to spill the beans about the movie they're working on. Surprisingly, Ruka agrees to lend a hand under the condition that she gets to be part of it too. The following day, while Kazuya has a sit-down with a representative from the crowdfunding company, Chizuru spends her time visiting her grandmother in the hospital. Later on, Kazuya updates Chizuru that their campaign has been given the green light. During an outing with Ruka, she sends him a link to a web novel site as a script reference. That evening, out of the blue, Minnie pulls Kazuya into her apartment. As she uncovers the truth about his and Chizuru's relationship, Minnie seems impressed by Kazuya and refers to him as her master. Chizuru gives Kazuya's script the thumbs up after giving it a read. The next day, Kazuya and Chizuru catch up with a fellow college student named Tabuse. While Kazuya steps away, Tabuse spills the beans to Chizuru about how hard Kazuya worked to get him on board with the project. Back at Kazuya's place, Minnie decides to lend a hand with the campaign after Kazuya reveals it's hit a snag. During a meeting with Kazuya, Chizuru, and Ruka, Minnie breaks down the key elements needed to make the campaign successful. Kazuya struggles to hand out flyers for the movie until Sumi joins in to help him out. Meanwhile, Minnie and Chizuru are sorting out backer rewards in Chizuru's apartment before diving into a conversation about Kazuya's real feelings for Chizuru. Chizuru denies Minna's claim that Kazuya has feelings for her. The next morning, Chizuru asks Yumi for help with the campaign, while Kazuya and Minnie chat about Chizuru. During a meeting with Kazuya and Minnie, Chizuru shares that Yumi agreed to retweet the campaign. She also mentions that he invited her to a play on the last day of the campaign. Though Kazuya is suspicious, he reluctantly agrees to the plan. A week later, Chizuru goes out with Yumi, who tries to make a move on her. After she turns him down, he asks if she has feelings for Kazuya, to which she gives a vague response. Meanwhile, Kazuya, Mini, and Ruka are distributing flyers when Chizuru joins them. That night, the campaign reaches its goal successfully. Filming kicks off during the summer break. While trying to shoo away a noisy cicada causing a ruckus during the shoot, Kazuya accidentally tumbles off a bridge and into the river. Despite the mishap, they manage to capture the scene. As filming resumes, Chizuru shares with Kazuya during a break that she's never regretted meeting him. Later, Tabuse suggests to Kazuya that he and Chizuru go on a trip to film the final scene together. Wanting to involve Mini, she proposes booking a resort in for Kazuya, herself, Chizuru, and Ruka. The following Wednesday, Kazuya and Chizuru are at the station when Kazuya gets a call from Mini who reveals her plan to ensure Kazuya and Chizuru have some alone time together. When they reach Iyama, a flustered Chizuru finds herself at a loss for words. Kazuya and Chizuru reach the Madera Resort Hotel, and discover that Minnie has only booked a room for two. They later explore the area to get a feel for it before filming the final scene that night. Chizuru expresses her gratitude to Kazuya for helping her with the movie, and shares why it's so meaningful to her. In their room, Chizuru gets flustered when she notices Kazuya has already fallen asleep. The next morning, a sleepy Chizuru leans on Kazuya's shoulder during the bus ride back to Ayama. When they return, Ruka confronts them, revealing that she found out about their trip through Midi. While Chizuru is away, Ruka asks Kazuya to promise to fulfill any request she has for her birthday. Ruka shows up at Kazuya's place to celebrate her birthday. They decide to hit the pool for some fun. Later that evening, things get a bit tense during dinner, when Ruka realizes Kazuya hasn't gotten her a gift. They head to a seaside park and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Before they part ways, Ruka asks Kazuya if she can drop the honorifics when addressing him, to which he agrees. Meanwhile, Sumi spots Chizuru heading into the hospital to visit her grandmother. They bump into each other in the waiting room. After Sumi leaves, Chizuru updates her grandmother on the movie screening, and recalls Kazuya's efforts during filming. When her grandmother suggests that Chizuru's words indicate she's falling for Kazuya, Chizuru denies it. Minnie is taken aback when she finds out Kazuya and Chizuru didn't hook up during their trip. Shortly after, Chizuru steps out of her apartment to discuss the screening plans. Right then, Rook arrives, and in front of Chizuru and Minnie, she addresses Kazuya without using an honorific. Later on, Kazuya, Chizuru, and her grandmother visit the theater where the movie will be shown. After separate chats with Kazuya and Chizuru, 
Her grandmother reflects on what her husband said about Chizuru's dream. Unfortunately, she suddenly collapses and is rushed back to the hospital. At the hospital, Chizuru reveals that her grandmother doesn't have much time left. Kazuya wonders if they should come clean about their relationship to her grandmother, but Chizuru refuses, worried it might upset her. He leaves abruptly when he gets a notification on his phone. Chizuru is deeply upset while she's with her grandmother when Kazuya enters the room. At first, Chizuru is angry with him, but her mood shifts when he starts playing the movie for her grandmother to watch. Her grandmother watches a part of it and shares a tender moment with Chizuru before they say their goodbyes. Afterward, Kazuya catches up with Minnie, and they talk about Chizuru. The next day, Kazuya remembers Chizuru saying she was okay after her grandmother passed away. He attends the wake with his grandmother, who emphasizes the importance of supporting Chizuru during this time. That night, Kazuya decides to ask Chizuru out on a date to lift her spirits. After meeting up with Kazuya, Sumi and him head to a cafe where Kazuya seeks advice on how to support Chizuru. Sumi suggests they go to the beach in Fujisawa on a whim. When they arrive, they visit the Inoshima Sea Candle. Later that afternoon, Sumi explains that the purpose of their trip was to ensure Kazuya had a good time. At work, Kazuya tells Ruka about Chizuru's grandmother's passing, and Ruka inadvertently sparks an idea when she shares her desires if she were in Chizuru's shoes. This prompts Kazuya to ask his boss for an advance on his pay, which his boss grants. After some time, Kazuya plans a cheering update for Chizuru. When Chizuru meets up with Kazuya, they go to a department store where Kazuya picks out a new outfit for her. They hold hands and then catch a movie together, which Chizuru really enjoys. While having lunch, Chizuru insists she's okay again and thanks Kazuya for his support at the hospital. Next, they go to a free climbing gym for some bouldering fun. Later that evening, they dine at a restaurant where Chizuru's mood shifts when she sees a young girl with her grandmother. Finally, they head to the park to light sparklers. While Kazuya goes to get water, Chizuru reflects on her grandparents. When he returns, he notices how upset she truly is. Chizuru puts on a brave face when Kazuya approaches her. Just as she's about to leave, Kazuya opens up about his ideal girlfriend. His words trigger Chizuru to finally express her grief in front of him. The following day, Kazuya talks to Minnie about what happened before heading out. When he comes back, he encounters Chizuru, who appears unaffected. However, once inside her apartment, she confesses the truth about her relationship with Kazuya and her feelings of loneliness to her grandparents' altar. A week later, after the movie screening, Tabuse reveals to Chizuru how Kazuya managed to show it at the hospital. Kazuya and Chizuru spend time together. Meanwhile, Ruka dresses up in a maid outfit, Sumi takes her dog for a walk, and Minnie streams her latest video. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.